I think that'll be fun. <laughs> So excited for today. You have to accept the chaos, and it was chaos, but it was fun. This and Add them. Can I make this easier for my brain? If I need to make a ten. Who wants to come circle ten? Beautiful. Where will you chop it? Where are you gonna chop it? And chop. Hi, sweet friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mailing Call from Mrs. Calls Campers. If you're new here, I am a kindergarten and first grade teacher in Northern California. Um, today is Monday. I tried something different with my hair. It's a lot. Um, I used a quarter inch curling iron, like the size of my pinky, and did curls last night because I wanted them to fall and be like, you know, beautiful today. And I think I'm actually liking the way it looks now that they've fallen a little bit. Okay, so today's Monday. Over the weekend, I went to Michael's, Dollar Tree, Target, got some things for this week because it's Valentine's Day week. So we're gonna be making all sorts of fun things. So for my gifts for my kids, I'm doing these Target um, dollar blocks. I love giving these as gifts. At Dollar Tree, some of these glasses for our library. I'm gonna pop out, hopefully I can pop out the ones. Ah, yes, that way they can use them when they're in the library. My mentor teacher and student teaching did that. I also got a comb, um, some extra hair ties, and some hair bands, because I've had some girls who have been wanting to do, wanting me to do their hair recently, or like some of them, they come in and like their hair's not really like super brushed in the morning, or like it's getting in their face all day, so I just have some for the students. Got more laser pointers. One of my favorite things to use in the classroom. They are so helpful. Oh, I feel like my life is a mess. Um, this morning when the kids came in, I had them cut out monster um, hands for the Love Monster craft that we did not finish last week um so they did these and i'm gonna hang them up here but not right now <laughs> right now i get to do their center folders when i do center folders it really does not take that much time to put them in there because when i copy them i copy it in a group so if like i want to give one student one of these and one of these i'll make a copy x amount of copies and it'll print out in order so i just take these two and put them in there that makes sense hopefully um what i'm doing right now is i'm going to be adding in some extra practice i use esgi i talk about it all the time but i use esgi to see um, pretty often where my kinders are and what they really need to work on and so every week i've been adding in an activity um, that's just like a letter like handwriting and sounds so i'm adding in a couple of these um, into their center folder okay it is the end of the day today was an absolutely just completely enjoyable day it's funny how big of a difference an hour really makes you know we only got out an hour early today but it makes a big difference um so i honestly i think today went exactly as planned which usually does not happen for me on minimum days but today it did also i think you were crooked so no read aloud on mondays because we have counseling in the morning that's our read aloud block um and the only reason i do our read alouds every week a lot of you might be confused like where does that fit in with my curriculum it's a totally separate time i only have one part of my day where i teach kinder and first grade together simultaneously and that is during our read aloud because we work on so so many skills and it's appropriate for kinder and first grade so I built in a read aloud time to our schedule every single morning well Tuesday through Friday um, and they each have separate literacy blocks that I use the curriculum during so hopefully that makes sense my first graders we did long e we didn't map our sight words this week because honestly some of the sight words that wonders gives you I really don't think you need to teach them explicitly as sight words you can't they can totally sound them out um, and write them so I didn't do that today. Instead, we started reading a team of fish and they were really, really interested in that story. Um, we just did a shared reading together and we talked about it. I like to focus on comprehension on the first read through. And then like the second, third read through, that's when you see me mapping it like I did in my last video. With my kinders, we did some practice with CBC words. We did some practice with sight words. Um, we read a book. It wasn't anything too fun or different. It was just our normal routine. And then we did some small groups. So I worked with beginning sounds with some of my lower groups today. Um, and that was about it for small groups. I am going to hang up our February art. And we did finish our cute little love monsters you can see in the back. Oh, love putting up our work for the month because it adds so much to the room. So I'm gonna put these up. And they are up. 
so fun. So cute. So the first graders did these little love bugs. This one I think is my favorite because it has so much like personality. And then the kindergartners did these little panda things. The ones that have sticky notes on them are ones who I accidentally chopped the name off. But yeah, that is our February wall. That is it for today. I am just cleaning up and heading out. Okay, we have time for a short from Magic Warm Up. What's the rhyme? Um, cool. That is the blend. Good job finding the blend at the front. What's the rhyme? That's the ending. Good job finding the ending. Do you see the rhyme? IP is the rhyme. Good job, ready? Ip, ip, ip. Flip. Flip, flipper. Who sees the rhyme? Raise your hand. I G. Ready? Ig, ig, ig. I'm sorry. I need all my friends to participate. Ig, ig, ig. Your eyes have to be on the letters. Ready? Ig, ig, ig. Jig, jiggle, jiggle. Raise your hand if you see the rhyme. O D is the rhyme. Ready? Odd, odd, odd. Plod. Plotting, plotting. Raise your hand. <laughs> it is like planning. Raise your hand if you see the rhyme. Am is the rhyme. Ready? Am, am, am. Ham, hammer, hammer. Cool job. And I've noticed when you guys are writing now, you are starting to double the letter before putting on those endings, and I'm really, really proud of you. Our skill this week is long e sound what's the long e sound e. e good we know our superhero vowels can say two sounds they can say their short and lazy sound or their strong superhero sound and strong superhero sound e who do we usually need mommy we usually need mommy e do you remember another way to spell the sound e oh yeah y can say e or i what's another way E, E. I heard you say E, E. That is another way we can make that E, E sound. The word treat, that would be a long E sound. Say meat. Ready? Mm, eat, meat. Let's do another one. Help me spell keep. K, E, E. Keep. You can't see my mouth. P. Keep. Good. Help me spell soul eat. Ready? Soul eat. Good. So another way that we can spell that long e sound is e e. Are there any other ways you can think of? What's another way? Yep. Mommy e at the end spells e. Good. Did you have another one? Sweet. Sweet's good, and if we're writing the word sweet, we'd have a blend at the front. Help me. Sweet. Sweet. Let's spell tree. Ready? Tr. Yes, and that is the trickiest blend. It's T. R. Tr. E. Yes, because it kind of sounds like ch, but it's not a. It's not a ch. It's a tr. Tr. It's hard. Like jur and chur. Those are the hard ones. You guys are smart. Do you have another word? Yeah, so mommy E works as a way to spell the long E sound, and so does two E's together. We're also going to see another way to make that E sound in our reading. Okay, so we're going to get into our reading for this week, and the book has a few different ways for us to make that long E sound. And something I want to tell you guys is whenever you get, whenever you have your book and you're reading your words, the only reason Miss Call is showing you a bunch of different ways to spell a sound is because I want you to know that there's different sounds that you can try, okay? If you're writing a word and you mix up a way to spell something, am I gonna be mad? No, I'm gonna be proud of you for using, no, I will not. I'm gonna be proud of you for using any kind of spelling that makes that sound. So our book today is called A Team of Fish. Um, here are the sight words. See, we already know them. What's this first one? Because, blue, into, or, other. Good, see? You guys are too smart. What's this one? Small. Of a team of fish. Do you guys see any? <laughs> 
Do you guys see any secret? E A, good. What does E A say? E, e good, because when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So there's actually another way that we know to spell what sound? E. Good. Do you see another secret? Shh. At the end of the word fish. Good. Let's read the title. A team of fish. In the word team, A is not saying its name because when two vowels, E and A, when they're both together, the first one right here, E, he does all the talking and A covers his mouth. So the only sound we hear is this E sound. T, E, Mm, we don't hear that A sound. Do an echo reading so when after me you're going to repeat it. Here we go. And creeks. Your turn. This lake and creeks. Some fish eat other fish. And if we look closely at this picture, there's something right here. This is called a caption. Say caption. Caption. We've seen them in our books before, and the caption tells us about the about the picture. Good, ready? So let's read about this picture. These catfish eat together for safety. Your turn. These catfish eat together for safety. Why might they eat together for safety? Why would that make them feel safe? Turn and tell a friend. Why would that make them feel safe? My turn. So why do you think that some fish choose to look for food and eat food together? What do you think? Yeah, they, they might need to stay together in case a shark comes. I want you to look at this um, group of fish right here. Do you notice how they have those stripes on them? Yeah. And because they have those stripes on them, it's kind of hard to tell where the fish are so yeah, when these kind of fish yeah it's kind of like camouflage when these kind of fish swim together the way that their bodies look the way that those stripe looks helps make them harder to find so when they're all in one big group it's hard for a shark or another predator something who eats them it's hard for them to see exactly where one is it looks like one big giant group school of fish yeah that's a really good observation nice thinking and they actually are very lazy hunters lazy. they're lazy and i know it's hard to think because when you hear about sharks you think oh big sharks and they want to attack and they want to attack and get all these fish but a lot of times sharks don't want to chase after fish so what they do is they will pay special attention to fish that look sick and sharks can tell that a fish looks sick because sometimes a sick fish might swim slower or it might swim kind of sideways and those are actually the fish that sharks like to eat because they're lazy and they don't like to chase after their food so a lot of times if fish swim away from sharks they're usually pretty safe. I have a mosquito bite right there. I don't want to feel like your mosquito bite. Have a seat. All right, show me that you are ready. You are V. Good, your teeth are on your bottom lip. Good. Bed. Bed. Ready? Like your leg is sleeping in your bed. Ready? Like your leg is sleeping in your bed. Jet. 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 Jet.
because they are best friends and whenever they are together, they talk at the same time. So everybody say K with me, ready? One, two, three. K it sounds like one sound, even though all of us said it, okay? So when the C and the K are together, they say it at the same time. So it sounds like one sound. Er, ah, uh, rock. I don't see that anywhere. I know, Miss Call made up that secret. It's a Miss Call secret. <laughs> Ready? J. Uh, j, j, j. What letter? Uh, jet. Letter. What's this? B. The letter. Oh, it's upside down. I'm so sorry. B says you're also gonna get the letter. M says. Can you sit on this stool, please? And I'm gonna give you some pictures. And if it starts with the B sound, you're gonna put it with the B. And if it starts with the M mm sound, you'll put it with the. Good. Here you go. You are gonna get the letters. Rock. R. 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 And you'll get the letter S. S. Ready? Here's your first picture. You have a rose, and you have a broom. Good. Mm -hmm. Mask. Rat. And we're gonna switch piles. Okay. Good. Okay, so this time you have s and er, and you have b and mm. If you need help with the picture, let me know. B, b, mop? No. Mm, mm, mop. Good. Oh, do you recognize that picture up there under the M? What's that called in your hand? Do you remember? Um. It's a mitten, huh? Yeah. Button. Where does it go? Look at your letters. Yep, you did it! You were in writing? Nice job getting those first sounds! Put this in your book bin. Go put it in your book bin. That was wonderful. I'm very proud of you. Please don't throw it. Can you hand it to me? Thank you. Alright, you were in writing. Good. We're going to take our time with our handwriting like that, like that, like that. Nice job, my friend. Put it in your book bin. Can you count how many are still left? How many? Five. Five. Thank you. Have a Can you help me make a five? Ready? Short line down. Roll around. Five has a top. And then you stop. Did you get five too? Did you get five as your answer? All right. Here's my story. There were seven ducks in the pond. Three of them waddled away. There were seven ducks in the pond and three of them waddled away. How many did we have in the pond at to start? Seven. Good. We had how many ducks in the pond? Seven. We had seven ducks. Slide to the right, then slant it down. Number seven. Where's a crown? Seven ducks were in the pond. And then what happened? They walked away. What happened? No, they didn't walk away. They waddled away. Good. Three waddled away. So we have seven. What's this symbol called? Minus. Minus. How many? Minus. Minus. Three. Three. Good. Around a tree. Around a tree. That's the way you make a three. Seven minus three is a number. Go ahead. One, two, three, Four. How many were left in the pond? Four. Four. Good job. Our first problem is going to be 23 plus 8 equals a number. Say it with me. 23 plus 8 equals a number. Good. We need tens and we need ones. All right, what's my first number? 23. How many tens am I going to need? Two tens. Count with me. 10, 20, 20, 
three. How many ones do I need? Three. Three. Count with me. One, two, three. What number did I build? Twenty-three. He knows what number did I build? Twenty-three. I built twenty-three. How many do I need to add? Eight. Should I add tens or ones? Ones. Eight ones. Count with me. One, eight. Good. Now what do I need to do? Add them, add I have to them add them together. Let's see if I can make a ten. Eyes up here. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can make a ten with these ones. I'm going to put it over here. Will you help me count? 10, 20, 30, 31, 30. Kindergarten, whisper voices just like first graders. Why didn't I count these? Because I put them over here, right? I made a 10. Does that make sense? First number. Who wants to build 48 on my board? 40. Eight. Eight. Four. Four tens. Forty. Good. Let's count with her. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Nice job. How many ones does she need? Oh, what's that first number? Forty. Eight. She needs eight ones. We're going to count with her when she's ready. Good job, friend. Ready? One, two, three, four, eight. What number did we build? Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Who wants to add six more? Is he gonna add six more ones or six more tens? Six more ones. Six more ones. One. Two. Two. Three. Four. Good job. Five. Six. Good. Now I need to add them. Can I make this easier for my brain? If I need to make a 10. 10. Who wants to come circle 10? Good. So we circle the 10. Where do we need to put the 10? On the 10 side. Good. Can you draw a 10 for me on this side? Will you help me count? Yes. Out loud. 10. 20. Count with me. 10. 20. 30. 40. 50. 51. 52. 53. 54. Good. What's the answer? 54. What do you think? Is this fun? Yes. Okay, we have time for zero more. Zero. No more. You know why? Because it's time for free choice. You guys did a great job. Yay. Okay, well, that was easy. For My, turn. Oh. My turn. My turn. I am putting a timer on the screen if we can. A bomb? Uh huh. If we can clean up without raising our voices and we can beat the timer and sit on the carpet, everyone will get. A sticker. Ready? All right, show me. It's beautiful. Wow, these are some nice stickers. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. I feel like having a minimum day on the first day. Where's my clock? There it is. Yeah, having a minimum day on the first day always makes it feel like a Friday and then I'm thrown off. I'm like, what day is today? I'm just kidding, I, I never know what day it is. Okay, so looking, ooh, uh, I get to start parent gifts today. Okay, so fun. Here's what's on the agenda for today. I don't think I actually showed you my planner for this week. You wanna see? This is one of the reasons I really like digital planning. Um, you can insert pictures if you wanted to. Like I had a craft in mine. I could have inserted a picture, but I just drew it really quickly. But this was yesterday. Tomorrow I'm gonna start this parent gift and that's what we're doing tomorrow. Um, and then Valentine's Day, I have it like mapped out in pink. I am starting, oh, I need to take pictures of them too. Parent gifts are one of those things that like I always get behind on. I'm always doing them last minute. I'm like, oh, I really should start this sooner. And then you have kids who are absent and then like, what do you do? So we're starting them today. I am very excited. Um, this necklace right here, this is actually one my sister got me like two or three years ago for Christmas. I have like the pearl version that I always wear. Um, just for every day in my life. I wore it on my wedding day too. But this is Kendra Scott and I have a link. If you click on, I'll just link the Kendra Scott link I have in the description box for you. But I love, love, love the jewelry. I feel like it was in, like it was on trend for a little while and then people like 
stop talking about it, but I still love it. And the earrings I was wearing yesterday are Kendra Scott earrings my mom got me for Christmas this past Christmas. Anyways, um, so this is for my sister. But these earrings are by Poppy. Poppy & Co. Poppy. I'll link her in the description box. Um, she was the same one who made the little flower earrings that I had. I've already placed another order with her, but these are the cutest little Valentine's Day earrings and my whole vibe matches my nails. I'm just, all of these Valentine things are making me very happy. I love all of it. So I posted on TikTok a video of me doing like morning choice in the mornings and somebody left me a comment and they were like, oh, like I put on alpha blocks or number blocks in the morning. So yesterday I had like the puzzles out for them to do and I also had number blocks on the TV and a lot of them like they they didn't even ask me about it. They just sat down and started watching it. And I had a couple of friends who like did puzzles in the background. And I'm like 50-50 on whether or not I like it because I like them to like talk to their friends first thing in the morning. A lot of them were just sitting down like staring at the TV and I'm like, well, I like that it's calm. I'm gonna keep doing it this week and see how I like it. But I don't know, let me, let me know what you think. Do you guys put on like any kind of show in the morning when your kids come in? Or do you just, what do you do? <laughs> The other thing that I've been doing in the morning is I have been working with a couple of my students, um, specifically my first graders, on just straight phonemic awareness in the morning. So I just take my yellow Haggerty book and I just sit there with them for five minutes and just practice some of these skills. I feel like every second right now counts. There I go, forgetting to vlog at the end of the day again. Um, it's past 3.30, I'm about to go home. We. I feel like we had a mostly successful day. I just had to do a lot of reeling them in and I feel like that's how it's gonna be all week and that's just, it is what it is. Um, but I'll put in a few clips if I have them from teaching. I think I tried to film more math today. I did. Okay, I need you to pay attention. Everybody's gonna do it together, okay? We're gonna see how well you follow directions. We're gonna draw a picture and then we're going to write. What are we doing first? I draw an oval in the middle. An oval and now around our lake we're gonna draw some grass. I'm gonna draw some zigzag lines up and down. Say log. log. To draw a log I'm gonna start by making a tall oval kind of like a zero and then I'm gonna draw a line on the top and a line on the bottom. On the log, what's this called? Log. On the log, there is an ant. I'm gonna draw one, two, three circles. <laughs> one, two antennas and six tiny legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just want you to do the best you can. Does that have to be perfect? No. All right, now that we're done with our picture, we get to do something fun. We get to label, say label. Label. We're gonna label our picture, which means we are going to put what it is right next to it. So what should we label first? Let's write the word log, ready? Oh, L, beautiful. Oh, oh, ready? Log. All right, we're gonna write about our picture. Who can come up with this sentence for us to write about our picture? I can see the bug. Start right here, capital letter always first. Get your pencils ready. Kindergarten, I need you to pay attention. Get your pencils ready. Say I. Ready? Tall line down, cross, cross. Fingers, faces, between words. I can, say can. Can is a sight word. C. Good, nice little C. What's next? A, roll around, short line down. Good, nice little letters. Can, N, short line down, roll down. Roll around, I can see the. And I want you to choose what you want to say. I'm going to say bug. If you want to write, I can see the fish, you can write fish. B, uh, g. 
My G's going in the basement. And now I want it to be your turn. You're gonna write, I see the, and you tell me what else you see. I see the, and I want you to pick something else. So I did the bug. I see the, go ahead and write, I see the. I see the. We are going to start on our new book. I want you to point to the title. Point to the title, good. What color is it? Green. 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 I see some sight words in here. What's the first word? Green. We go, go to see. see. Hmm. Do you see a part in this word that you know? Mm. And what does A N say? And. And. Ready? Mm. And. And. Nan. Nan. Let's read the title together. Ready? Nan. We go to see Nan. And sit. Where's Papa? You can sound it out, buddy. And sit. Beautiful. Sit. Yeah, you got it. We are playing Switch It. We have to tap the sounds first. Say, tap the sounds. Tap the sounds. And then we have to put each sound in its own box. Our letters like TH that make the sound, they get to share a box because it's one sound. Okay, say bath. bath. Ooh, nice job keeping your eyes on me. Say bath. bath. Let's tap the sounds together. Ready? First, first bubble. Put your finger on the first bubble. Ready? B. Good, now move your letters. B this says, we want ba. Good, this says, we want ba. Yep, good. Tap the sounds before you change it. Beautiful. All right, step one, what do we need to do? You need to um, get three tens. Three tens, because our first number is 36. Go ahead and put three tens. Good, let's keep them nice and sh organized like that. Is that okay? Okay, under the tens, 36. Wait for me, we're gonna do the first one together. 36 is our first number. How many more do we need? Six. 36. Good, 36, let's go, 36. All right, how many are we adding? Seven. Seven more, you're gonna add seven more ones. I'm even gonna scoop mine over so it helps. One, two, fingers, so it's easy to tell. Let's see, we started with 36. Let's add seven more ones. Can we make a 10? Yes. Yeah. Good, when you have 10, circle them. Okay, good. Now we can say 10 in, 10 out. I wanna make sure you circle them so you know which ones. Good, yep. Good, and I want you to circle it. That way we know exactly which ones to grab. Perfect. Now, find your answer. Beautiful. All right, put your blocks up. I'm gonna give each of you a different problem. Okay, so you have 49 plus nine. Okay. Circle it for me so I can make sure you get all the ones you need to, okay? Seven. Eight, nine. Wow, nice job. Eight. Good, so you have 38. Now add four more. Good, circle your 10. You got it, you got it. Put them on this side, that way we can see it easy. Good, now can you circle your 10? Write your answer. Yeah, that's good. You got it. Can you help? 10, 20, 30. Wait, what happened to these two that were outside? Oh. Okay, so you have. Oh, did you already change your 10s? You took these. You're supposed to take your 10. Yeah, that's okay. So take your 10. Take all of these that you circled because that's 10. So you put two. Cap on the back. Good. Did I ask you to draw yet? No. No. Show me already. Seven minus two. 
seven minus two. Seven, not one. Seven. All right, seven minus two equals a number. We're going to use a square. All right, beautiful. Seven minus two equals a number. When we do subtraction, we have to start with the first number. Put your finger on the number we're going to start with. Good. You are. I love you, my friend, but you have to stay with us. We are way past that. Put your finger on the first number. All right, so I'm going to build seven, and I want you to watch me, okay? I'm going to make them all one color. One, two, three, seven, down. Let's read the problem. Seven minus two equals a number. How many am I taking away? Two. Two. So watch me. I'm going to chop it so that I can take away two. two. So where can I chop it? Yeah, I can chop it right here. Watch me chop it. Ready? Chop. Take away two. Now I have my answer. Will you help me count my answer? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Equals a number. Good. Equals a number. What number are we going to build first? Six. Can you put your finger on the number we're going to start with? Put your finger on it. Right here. Yep. Okay, so let's each count out six counters. You may Don't chop it yet. I want you to wait for me, okay? I know you're so smart, but we're going to do it together. You need six counters. You need six counters. Six counters. Draw a line and show me. Nope, not yet. Just draw the line. Perfect. Draw your line. Where will you chop it? Where are you going to chop it? Hmm. Okay. That's where it is. Good, you have six and we're gonna take away two. So where are you gonna chop it? Can you draw a line to show me? All right, ready? Who's ready to chop? Get your karate chopper ready and chop. And take them away. That's okay. I really know. How many? So write it. Right here? Yeah, right there. Of course, right there. Beautiful. <laughs> Ready? Here's a tricky one. Eight. <gasps> Make an S and close the game. Minus. Stay with us. Nice job. Eight minus four. Oh, this is so hard. No, yeah, this oh is my easy. goodness. Equals, this is so equals hard. A, number. a square. A number. Equals a square now. Oh my goodness, this is so hard. So hard, ready? Show me. <laughs> this is Seven, eight. Eight. Good, show me where you're going to chop it. There you go, keep them in a line. That way we can chop it. Right. Chop it right. One, two, three, four. Chop it right. Good. Where are you going to chop it? <laughs> Where are you going to chop it? Show me with a line. All right, get your choppers ready. And chop. Take it away. Everything, oh, that's so cute. I have this little um, Valentine's Day ambiance on the screen and it's like a little window with like a dog in the background trying to catch snowflakes. I did all my math small groups today at my table, um, which again, it's nice to have, you know, have first grade, half kinder. So I usually have the first grade working on some kind of like center activity and then I'll pull half the kinders and while I'm not working with the other kinders, they'll work on math center. So it's just like one big thing, but it's really nice because everyone in the room is usually doing a pretty good job. I actually finished up math a little early, which is crazy because I pulled all of my kids. I put on some number blocks because they've been really enjoying it and I started calling them to do their little hand prints and I am obsessed. I think these are the cutest things. No. 
I'm playing, I'm, I want to make a heart for you. I'm playing your thing. You're so sweet. Ready? Down. Beautiful. Go wash your hands. And originally, I was going to have them like write with like a Sharpie or something like I love you, whatever. And I was like, I really don't want to write on the hands. So I decided I'm going to write. And I got inspo from a bunch of different ones, but I didn't find anything I liked. So I made like a shorter version. No matter how big these hands grow, they'll always be yours to hold. It kind of rhymes. No matter how big these hands grow, they'll always be yours to hold. And I think that'll be really precious. So... I'm gonna write on those tomorrow. I could take them home and do it, but I don't really wanna do that. So that was our day. Got lots of kid compliments on my earrings. Also, one of my little girls who watches my YouTube videos, she, first thing she said when she saw me this morning was like, Miss Call, that dress looks familiar. And I said, yeah, I've worn it before. She said, no, it, it looks familiar. Yeah, I've worn it. And she comes up to me later on. I don't even know what time during the day. She comes up to me later and she's like, You wore that on Fancy Day in one of your videos. <laughs> I was like, Yep, yeah, you're right. I sure did. <laughs> she's so cute. So I luckily got everything that I wanted to get done done today. And then tomorrow is our last big hustle before our Valentine's Day party adventure on Thursday. So I am very excited. Hello, happy Wednesday. Actually, not a happy Wednesday because I have morning duty on Wednesday. So I'm never excited that it is Wednesday. I wanted to come on, say good morning. I'm wearing my super fun earrings. I'm obsessed with this small business. How cute are these earrings? Oh, okay. So um, what I need to do this morning, honestly, is just do a sweep around my room and clean up. So that's what I'm going to do. Also, I'm not sure how much content I'm going to film um, for you guys today just because I feel like I have been filming so much and it's so hard to go back and edit. Because think about it, if I film like my whole group lesson and then my small group lessons or whatever, I have to go back and like watch all of those, edit all the kids' voices. Like it's just a lot on me. So I don't think I'm going to film today. I might show you some more fun things tomorrow or maybe like something small for today. But if you are enjoying these videos and you are enjoying the work that I'm putting into them so that you can <laughs> see them and kind of be there with me in the moment when I'm teaching um, and see what it's really like, then please leave a comment, like the video. Um, there are so many ways that you can show your support so that I continue to do this. Um, but yeah, so let's clean up a little bit around the room before we have to go outside in the cold. I have five minutes. What a day. Honestly, I did not stick to my plans today. I don't even think I filmed anything. Maybe, I, no, I did. I filmed um, them working on their Krankenstein activity. I did not stick to my plans today because we have, sorry, my lamp is like a touch, touch lamp. We have um, report cards coming up next, like next, whenever we get back from a break, like right after that we have report cards. And I know I'm gonna be um, kicking myself if I don't get a head start on it. So I I didn't do any small group, whole group math today. Um, I did get a bunch of testing done. My aide helped me with some of my kinders and my first graders, I did a comprehension test whole group. I pulled them to my back table to do like a punctuation assessment. Um, I did film one of their assessments for their class dojo, um, just so the parents can kind of see what that process looks like and um, then kind of get an idea of where their kids are at. I know that's what the report card is for. I just really like uh, videos on class dojo. Anyways, now um, it is after, it's way after school. I spent some time um, talking after school and then I was recording a TikTok on how I um, teach my kids to solve problems in the classroom. Not Probably not something I'll share to Instagram, I don't think. So if you wanna see that short little video, you can go to TikTok. But it is now time for me to get ready for tomorrow. So I should probably turn on the lights so I'm a little more motivated to do things. Um, I did send home the heart project and my kids were very, gonna be overexposed. My kids were very excited about it. I told them about it um, and they were really excited about the ideas they had to start putting things on their project and I also put a little heart on their hands so they would remember tomorrow is Valentine's Day. You can see I had a couple of kids missing today. They'll take that home eventually and I think I think I have everything I need for our party tomorrow. I have one mom who checked in with me this morning. She was like what else do you need and she's bringing those things. So I also have another mom who was like I don't know if you'll have time but I thought this was cute and she brought this little craft thing and I think this will be perfect but I have to get ready for tomorrow and I really don't want to. <laughs> I know it's gonna be fun but these are the kind of things that just take so much like work and prep ahead of time. Uh, so here we go. Maybe I should put a time lapse right now because I'm like I don't even know where to where to start with this. Let's clear my table first. <laughs> I'm 
mostly cleaned up. Now I'm just looking at my schedule for tomorrow. Um, I was talking to another teacher and they said they pass out Valentine's first thing and then they just put them away afterwards. And I was like, maybe I should do that. So um, luckily I got our Krankenstein, our anchor chart. We did a quick shared writing today. And that book, honestly, Krankenstein, it's super short. It doesn't have a lot of depth to it. It's just, you know, kind of fun. So. We did our shared writing and our craft today. And tomorrow I think we're gonna start by decorating folders. And I'm probably not gonna tell you the whole spiel of what we're gonna do tomorrow because I'm hoping to show you some clips, but I'm just thinking about how I want to organize things. So the first thing they'll do tomorrow morning, come in and they'll get to color and decorate their folders. And then we'll do Valentine's, then we'll do stations. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for stations and make sure I have everything ready to go. I'm so excited for tomorrow. I stinking love Valentine's Day I do I love it okay let's let's do this folders by the door so I can hand them to them need to do my gifts um, I'll probably do those at home and then I think we're good so I made this Valentine's bingo I'm gonna put that by the front so that'll be ready my aid is going to be here tomorrow making headbands so I'm trying to get everything organized for her that the kids can use I'm also going to make a headband as like a model um, and I'll get to decorate them however they want little love bug headbands this is the inspo for the cute little headbands. Right, so fun. Ooh, I could make it like little eyelashes. That'd be pretty cute. That's adorable and like a little smile. Yes, okay, we love it. It's so annoying to look around and know that it's 5.30 and that it doesn't look like I've spent an hour and a half getting ready for a party, uh, but I have. <laughs> So there's no tablecloths on the tables yet because they're going to use the tables when they first come in and then we'll put the tablecloths on when we actually eat and have our party. Today is the day. Today is Valentine's Day. I'm very excited. I think I am going to, oh gosh, I think I'm going to greet my kids with my little love bug hat and get them like excited to make it, you know? I think that'll be fun. <laughs> I'm so excited for today. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that was, I don't even know what that was. That was crazy. Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday to celebrate in the classroom. It's my favorite day. I love it. It's just, it's so much fun. Really, the whole month of February is just so much fun. But I am tired. And I knew when I was planning Valentine's Day, I knew I planned too much because I always do. And you forget how long things take. Passing out Valentine's takes forever. It takes forever. And yes, there are faster ways to do it. Don't get me wrong. There are faster ways to do it. Maybe later on in my career, I will adopt one of those ways. But I really like having everyone sit in a circle and just like go through and get to hand each of their Valentines out to everyone. And I love their reactions to the Valentines that they get. I just think that is so special. And so I'm like, ah, that is one of the things that takes the longest time. But that's kind of what the whole point is, you know, like the whole day, if that's all you do, they will have had a good day. But we did a lot more than that. So um, I think I filmed reading parts of Somebody Loves You, Mr. Hatch. And Mr. Hatch was tall and thin and he did not smile every morning at 6.30 sharp. At lunchtime, he would sit alone in a corner, eat his cheese and mustard sandwich, and drink a cup of coffee. And sometimes, he brought a prune for dessert. A what? A prune. What's a prune? What's a prune? It's just a fruit, a boring fruit. One Saturday, when Mr. Hatch stepped onto the porch with his dust pan and broom, he got a surprise, a package. Something fluttered to the porch floor. It was a little white card. He picked it up and it said, somebody loves you. Do you remember the package? 
that I delivered to you on Valentine's Day? Yes, I believe so, Mr. Hatch said. As a matter of fact, said Mr. Hatch, I still have the box. The candy's gone though. Why, why do you ask? The postman took a deep breath. I'm afraid I delivered it to the wrong address. It was supposed to go to another house. Mr. Goober, I forgot something. And he handed him the white card. The one that said, somebody loves you. I want you to notice the colors in the beginning of the book. How do they look? Gray. Gray and sad. I want you to notice the colors when Mr. Hatch got the heart. How do they look? Colorful. Colorful and happy. And now that he had to give the heart back, now he's, now he's sad. Now he's so sad. That book is my favorite. I love that book for Valentine's Day so much. Um, if you've seen my channel, if you've been watching since my very first year, or even if you've been following me on Instagram, when I just taught first grade, I gave everybody a heart with a number and they came in and they like wrote a love note, not a love note, but a kind note to a friend. Um, didn't do that this year because I have kinders and it, it would just be like pulling teeth to do that. So didn't do that this year. <laughs> Here's a cute picture of it though. I just feel like my first graders, my first year, like every year it seems that things get a little bit harder for these kids. And granted we've had a pandemic, but anyway. So we read Somebody Loves You Mr. Hatch. We did our Valentine's. I waited until my aide gets here. She doesn't get here kicking off my bucket of markers. She doesn't get here when I get here in the morning. She gets here like an hour later, which is kind of nice because I like having the mornings to my kids. And I kind of, I like that, but I wanted to wait till she was here to do Valentine's because I know some of the kids got something for her. Um, and I just, you know, I want her to be a part of all of that fun stuff too. So we waited for her. She got here. We started to do Valentine's. We had to go to recess right in the middle of it, but they were so sweet. And I am, I'm not the worst teacher ever, but I felt terrible because two of my quietest kids. Okay, I'm so mad that this happened. Two of my quietest kids, there was a mix up with the Valentines. Some of them, my students had names on their Valentines. So, some of them came disassembled and we figured it out right before we were about to hand out the Valentines. And I'm like, okay, hold on, let me help you do this. I don't fault the parents for that though, because I know sometimes just remembering to even get Valentines is enough. So I'm like ripping and tearing and folding and handing things out. But I was like, who's are these? And one kid raised his hand, a very quiet kid. He raised his hand. He passed him out. Nobody said anything. I get a call from the office and then his Valentines get here and I'm like wait the host did you pass out and then another one of my quietest kids raises his hands and goes mine and starts crying his eyes out and I felt so bad like so I felt terrible and I was like I am so sorry like I didn't know please forgive me here pass out these ones I let him pass out my valentines to the kids which I don't know if I ended up showing you but these are the valentines that I got my kids um they're just these little blocks from Target one dollar little blocks but they love these in, the, in our stem bins. and I just wrote a note Miss Call loves you um and it was a bow I think the kid who actually handed them out though I don't know if he got one because I have an extra one and I'm like I swear I counted 21 so I'm <laughs> I don't know whose that is but well I'm sure we'll figure it out anyways um he passed up mine and he he he's better but it was just one of those moments where I'm like oh, man you know and they were both kindergartners I'm like this is supposed to be like your first Valentine's Day like Oh, but it's okay. So anyways, we, <laughs> we did that and that was an ordeal. And then we did stations, which stations turned into play and we pull them to work on things. So one of the things we did was this cutie little love bug hat. And this is adorable, but um, it's a lot of, it, it's a lot of steps because they have to, first I had everyone do like a little face so it would be like a love bug and that takes some time. These hearts are actually stickers so that was good and I ended up buying this heart sticker pack from Michaels. I think it was like eight dollars which is that a lot? Yes but honestly would do it again ten times over. It was so much easier. They used these stick on hearts to decorate their folders. Oh I forgot. First thing in the morning they decorated folders. They look like this. They look like this. I had written their names on them and they're stapled on the side. This is what they put their valentines in but they decorated folders so I had this up on the board for them and and they used sticky hearts and that was great. I love them. Anyway, so they did the face and then they decorated the side and they did like sequins and it was, whoo, it was a lot, you guys, a lot. And then they had to pick out their little antenna things. And then we just, there's makeup on here, so don't freak out. But you tape these on and then you tape the hearts on. 
So it's just tape is what we used. And they are, they are adorable, but they are very time consuming, especially if you let them kind of do it, which you want to. It took a long time. We were like up until the end of the day making those. So Maid was doing the headbands and I was doing the, originally they were gonna be friendship bracelets and then I realized I didn't get stretchy material. So I'm like, we're just gonna make necklaces. And I let them pick a word like love or their name or like BFF and they strung them. The biggest tip I have for doing things like that is take a piece of cardstock, tape one end of the string or whatever, do the cardstock and then they can string it and nothing falls off and they can like hold it and move it around. Best thing ever. You could do it to the table. Um, I didn't just because I didn't want to risk them pulling it up. So I did it to cardstock because if they lifted it or moved, the cardstock would move with them. So that's how I like to do it. Anyway, they did a good job with that. They put some beads on, they got a word, more beans on, I tied them. But again, doing it to the last minute because things take so long. And the other station we had was a directed drawing station. I actually have them. I just picked a random one. And my kids, even my kinders are really good about if they are just doing a directed drawing by themselves, they'll sit there and they'll keep up. If I'm doing it, they like talk and they're getting off track. But if it's on the, if it's on the screen, they know like they gotta pay attention. So these are some cute little, bears that they made. It is kinder and first grade. <laughs> Adorable. Precious. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, anyways, and directed drawing was the last station and then they had stem bins and it was crazy. It was just totally crazy. And our actual party was literally the last 15 minutes of the day. Like we, it took so long to finish everything. And then of course we had to get like a group picture. And for some reason they could be smiling all day. And the second you go take that group picture, they're like this. And I'm like, y'all like, look at me. We did the picture, we did um, Cupid float, Cupid's floats, which is seven up and vanilla ice cream. I did a whole TikTok on this. If you wanna go there, you can save it. It'll be a lot faster for you to review what we did. Anyways, we did Cupid's floats and we did like this like snack mix that I had parents bring in. So big thank you to my aide for doing all this. I told them, I was like, we would not have been able to do this if it wasn't for her. You better tell her thank you. And I also thanked my parents on Class Dojo too because it just is so many more people besides me who are making this happen. And the kids had a wonderful day. There were a lot of times, I'm gonna be honest with you, there were a lot of times where I was like, hands on top, you know what you are supposed to be doing. Cause they were just getting out of hand. But it's one of those days where it's like, you have to accept the chaos and it was chaos, but it was fun. And I'm glad it's over and I am so glad we did this on a Thursday. Those of you who are teaching for Valentine's Day next week, are you guys celebrating on Monday because <laughs> I do not envy you. I do not. I could not. No. And I learned during Christmas break, have your party on Thursday. And now we get to have a chill Friday and I can actually be sane. I was going to show you what I got. I, I always debate whether or not. I'm not going to show you what I got for Valentine's Day. Uh, one of my students did make this during um, the headbands. I don't know why she did that, but it's cute. And you know what? She watches these videos. So hello. <laughs> Sometimes I just have to stop and just remind myself how grateful I am to be a teacher. I love, I love days like this. And there, yes, it was crazy, but this is what I love, you know? Good morning, today's Friday. Once again, I am very glad that yesterday was our party and not today because today is going to be so relaxing and chill and I'm gonna enjoy every second of it. It's funny, I ran into, I got here kind of late this morning. And also I made my coffee with, I'm pretty sure it was either like a dead shot or it was spoiled milk, but it did not taste good. And I texted my aide on my way to school and I was like, if you could please bring me coffee, I have money to give you. She's like, yeah, no problem. And I'm like, why do I hate asking people for things? I ran into one of my uh, parents this morning and they were just saying how, um, like yesterday, they, their kid had basically like chocolate for dinner and that's exactly what I did. I didn't even eat dinner. I ate a box of chocolates and I wish I was lying, but I'm not. And the parent said, yeah, I asked, you know, like how much chocolate she had at school and she just said one piece. And I was like, yeah, she wasn't lying because we had cupcakes and ice cream and soda and like all the other, all the other sugary things, but only one piece of chocolate. I only let them have one piece. And they were like, oh, I guess she wasn't lying. And I'm like, no. She was pretty honest. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what we're doing. I'm completely honest. I had it on the agenda to finish centers, but is it bad that I don't really want to? We might actually start the day with center. I'm thinking we might start the day with centers and then do, I might start working on another parent gift that I have and then um, 
today's a minimum day anyway so we're probably honestly we're probably gonna do like a movie and i'll pull people to test that's what our day is gonna be so i will catch up with you when i can okay i'm on my planning time luckily my aide did come and she brought me coffee um thank goodness because i don't know if i could have made it today and she started laminating these little hearts we're gonna cut them out and she also surprised the kids this morning for their snack she brought them donuts and look how good these donuts are they're like fluffy and i also ran out of laminating sheets and had to message the teachers we have like a teacher group chat i was like does anyone have just one i need just one laminating sheet and they came through so we are good um these are precious and the other thing is my aid that i have now she is so sweet and you can tell she actually like cares about the kids so much and no it's not just because you know she brought them donuts today but just like in the little uh, it's like in the little interactions that she has with them and the way she talks with them and she just wants to be with them and when they're playing she'll play with them and she'll talk to them about their life like you can just see that she cares so much so I love love having her in my classroom so I'm not really gonna be filming any teaching today because I'm not gonna be doing any real teaching today um, you just get to see all the other stuff like I started making our fingerprint hot air balloon art that will go home with the Christmas after break I wanted to get it done before but things were just crazy and I really wish today wasn't a minimum day because I feel like we have a lot that we could do but I guess it's Friday anyway so they'd be in library for the end of the day so I guess it's not that different but yep I almost forgot to check back in with you at the end of the day um it's Friday it's the end of the day and it was wonderful I think the hugs that they give you when they know they're gonna be gone for a big break are the best hugs the best at the end of the day we were watching Moana we didn't do anything you know super interesting today just some projects we did get all these little finger print hearts done um and i did have all of their pictures taken there's one student who didn't make this and whose picture i didn't get but there's gonna be them in like a little basket and they're gonna be like yay anyways oh gosh if you're a parent who sees that pretend you didn't see that <laughs> These didn't get done, that's okay. Um, Cause I need to print their pictures and everything. But yeah, so we did that um, with another good little girls. It wasn't her birthday today, but we celebrated her today. And then we watched Moana and had like another little mini party. Really it was just like a sweet snack. Cause I had a mom who brought in Capri Suns and cookies yesterday but we are we had like way too much yesterday so i was like we'll just extend the celebrations into today um and they watched moana and it was great and it was fun we didn't even finish it but all the songs on moana are 10 out of 10. and towards the end of the day i was just sitting on the carpet with them and i had girls who were like cuddling me and it was just the sweetest thing i also had girls today we did do centers <laughs> first thing in the morning and one of my girls oh she actually did this during free choice not centers but <laughs> she made a bunch of like pictures um and like wrote about how pretty I was and how she likes to look at me. <laughs> I like when I look at Miss Call. I like Miss Call, she's pretty. How could I ever have an insecurity when I have the sweetest kids in the whole wide world? I also had a little girl make me, uh, make me this. Um, and it looks like the handprint hearts that we made. I have two students who weren't here today, but they're over there. You've already seen them. But <laughs> Look how precious this is. You are the best teacher. I love you so much, Mrs. Call. I just, I love these kids with my whole heart. And they actually did a really good job today. Like during free choice time, they just played so nicely. And <laughs> we are connected. There's other teachers around us. One of the aides was in the lunchroom with us today, lunchroom, staff room. And she's like, yeah, I didn't even hear your kids today. And I'm like, yeah, we're usually pretty loud. But they did a great job today. Um, and they were super sweet. So yeah, it was just a good day. Great way to end the Friday. And uh, I'm really excited excited for this break you guys like really 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 excited and I'm glad today was a minimum day everything ended up working out nicely in the end so I am going to get out of here I did film a bunch of fun TikToks, so again make sure you follow me over there and on Instagram I've started to post some of them to my reels too um, but I really appreciate you guys being here let me know what you guys want to see when we return from break I have nothing planned I'd love to hear what you guys enjoy seeing on this channel and I want to thank you again so much for being here so yeah this is like my my heart that I put out here on the internet and sometimes it's hard. <laughs> like this video if it was helpful or if you just had fun, make sure you subscribe to join our family and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram. In the meantime, I love you guys so much. Bye.